Labour whips are furious with Jeremy Corbyn's handling of an attempt to force a no-confidence vote in the Prime Minister, sources have suggested. The Labour leader tabled a non-binding no-confidence motion in Theresa May late on Monday, but the government refused to grant parliamentary time for a vote, describing it as a stunt. Downing Street instead challenged Mr Corbyn to table a more meaningful no-confidence motion aimed at the government as a whole and under the terms of the Fixed-Term Parliaments Act. Labour's chief whip Nick Brown had earlier told his party's MPs that the government would be obliged to grant Mr Corbyn's motion under parliamentary rules and, if it was refused, the Labour leader would immediately escalate his motion to one with legal weight in an effort to force a general election. In discussions with parliamentary colleagues on Tuesday, Mr Brown is understood to have been contrite, acknowledging his guidance on parliamentary rules had not been accurate. However, a number of other Labour whips are said to be furious with Mr Corbyn's office for sending out inconsistent messages about their intentions. One senior backbench figure said many Labour MPs shared a considerable frustration with the handling of the no-confidence motion as well as the lack of clarity about whether Mr Corbyn would escalate his motion to one of no confidence in the government as a whole. Another backbencher said the last 24 hours had been an omni-shambles of the party leadership's making. Had a full no confidence motion in the government passed, it would have triggered a process under the Fixed Term Parliaments Act that could have resulted in a general election if a government was unable to win a second confidence vote within 14 days. But House of Commons Speaker John Burkow confirmed to MPs on Tuesday that the government was not under any obligation to grant parliamentary time to the motion as tabled by Mr Corbyn because it amounted to an issue of censure not confidence.